Howdy ho there folks, and welcome to Bioshock Infinite. It's been a minute since I've actually played this. I don't... <laughs> the last time I played, I don't recall us ever seeing a, a 2k account needed for the PC version. But, I guess here we are now. I'm gonna check my settings real quick. Uh, gameplay. That is good. Audio. Voiceover volume, sound effects volume. I'll turn this down just a little bit more. Dialogue subtitles, we're good. Mouse sensitivity, we may have to mess with this a little bit. I did, I check to make sure. I may have to go through and mess with a couple of these settings <laughs> on my own while we're playing. Melee attack, good. All right, we're good. I figured after I finished Deadly Premonition, I'll, I'd pick a shorter game, one that's more linear. Try and help myself get back into the swing of things when it comes to recording consistently and uploading consistently. And Bioshock Infinite is a game I've been meaning to get through, just so I finish all the mainline Bioshock games. There's only three of them here. There is downloadable content that I don't have and there's not an option to get here so I'm gonna have to figure that out because there's two pieces of DLC I do want to get it's Burial at Sea episode 1 and 2 which is kind of the uh, the book end ending to the game kind of like ending plus I guess you could say but let's get into it this atmosphere in this game is like fantastic I love the game Bioshock Infinite this will overwrite your most recent autosave are you sure you want to proceed yes all right, you know the basics of FPS, then this is the best place for you to start. We have an easy, you're new to FPS games, still want to control the action, start here. You are very experienced with FPS games and enjoy a challenge, start here. I guess there isn't an option for the 1999 mode, I think you have to beat it on hard to get that. I think. We're going to start with medium. Just a nice middle ground. Get to enjoy the weirdness of Bioshock Infinite. Booker, are you afraid of God? No, but I'm afraid of you. The mind of the subject would desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. Barriers of transdimensional travel. R. Lutes, 1889. 1912, coast of Maine. Fuck, we're starting in Maine. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does. But there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No. He doesn't row. Ah. I see what you mean. We've arrived. Are you gonna come with? He's not moving! He will. Eventually. Yeah, give me a minute. I gotta, I gotta stretch out my legs here. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Press up to move. You mean the W key? Alright, later, fellas. 
Later, later. I remember too when this game came out, I thought it honestly looked beautiful. I don't know. Irrational games, they have something about water. They just do something differently about it. It'll, it just looks good. Definitely seems to be a very bad place to be stranded. Pretty bad, pretty bad storm going on out here. We're gonna see exactly how this goes too, playing the keyboard and mouse. Again, if it doesn't work out, I've got a controller I can use. So we'll see. I haven't beaten this game on PC yet. I've beat it a couple of times, but I've not completed it through PC. So we're gonna see. DeWitt, bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Of thy sins, I shall wash thee. Good luck with that, pal. Interesting. Okay. I don't know, it's something about these games and the Bioshock games. They just have... Ooh, a jar of pickles. Fuck yeah. Got the pickles back. Something about this game, it's just... There's something about any of the Bioshock games, the atmosphere is just great. From Sodom, I shall lead thee. Is anyone here? Hello? Oh, apparently the wiki is not here. Cereal. Sweet. I still love it how in these types of games... Be prepared, he's on his way. You must stop him. See. Returnings. Cool. I just love how in these games you just like root around people's cabinets and shit and just eat whatever you find. There's an option to leave it, but the only option to take is to eat. I find that quite funny. Ooh, wallet. Cool. That bed does not look comfortable. Got a sink. Cool. Running water. Probably seawater. Or maybe not. Maybe it's fresh water. Someone really did not have a good time here. Look at those. Like, potatoes and shit. Like, all over the place. You got cooked ones. And you've got uncooked ones that look like rocks. I love the atmospheres in these games. To thine own land shall I take thee. Well, shit. Shit. Indeed. Don't disappoint us. Damn, son. Looks like someone had a had a workout on this guy. Holy shit. I guess we found the wiki. In New Eden soil shall I plant thee. And imagine how bad of a storm it's got to be when you just have this big open area right here. The wind coming down. Probably living in a lighthouse is not the funnest thing around. Man, Maine definitely has seen better days. Got a really cool lighthouse, though. Speaking of cool movies, if you want a really weird movie, check out The Lighthouse. It's a fantastic movie. Weird as shit. But fantastic. It's filled in like black and white. Wait a minute, that card. Uh-huh. So one scroll. So I like scratch my nose. One. Two. Two. What in the world is
this first happened when I was playing, like, this is, like, fucking, like, ominous, man. Like, what is going on here? Alright. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. I can see the restraints, though. Something, something fucky's about to happen. But we got no choice. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The binding are there as a safeguard. Uh, uh, no, no, god damn it! Ascension. Ascension in the count of five. No, count of four. No, no, no. Three. Calm down, Booker. Remember the breathing exercises. Breathe. One. Ascension. 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 Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. So peaceful, man. So peaceful and so eerie. Why would he send his savior unto us if we will not raise a finger for our own salvation? And though we deserve not his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. And the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. Nice opening, man. Waste, uh, waste no time getting you here. Just like how the first game did it. Can I leave? Thank you. Find a way into the city. Well, I have completed that. Press N to navigate to your current objective. Cool. Press N to help navigate. I, I got that game, thank you. Ooh, money. Cool. The word of the prophet. Yeah, man, something about this game. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. Now I'm seeing there's some type of savior complex here. Nice hands. Look, they even got the fingernails. All this water. Man, imagine what this place fucking smells like. All these candles. I don't know. You ever smelt standing hey, water? Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till judgment day. Your voice is so deep, I was not expecting that. Yeah, have you ever smelt like standing water? It does not smell good. Let's keep such questions to myself. Kinda That's smells like mildew. Exactly. The lamb of the future the lamb, the future of our city. Yes, yeah, standing water just smells gross, it smells like mildew. They don't need this, they got plenty. Cool. A lot of offerings, it looks like. Oh, you even got the wood sitting in the water? I don't know about that, man. It's gonna rot. 
It's gonna rot so goddamn bad. I know where the exit is, man. I'm, I'm, I'm investigating, alright? The whole point of these games is to search and grab stuff. Case in point, all these, like, silver eagles, these silver dollars I'm getting. Looks, people's like putting money in this stuff. Yeah, standing water just smells like mildew. It just not smell good in the slightest. So imagine what this place smells like, along with all the candles. It smells like hot wax and and mildew. It smells like a goddamn basement. Probably shouldn't swear when I'm in here, but fuck it. Confessions. You confess to give me your money. In my womb shall grow the seed of the prophets. Okay. I can't read any of this. You guys left a lot of money hanging around here. Look at them up to like 50 wing wings. Ah, here's the thing I was looking for. Voxaphone. Press J to play your most recent acquired Vox phone. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? What grace indeed. Ooh, a bag. Nothing. Someone just left their bag in the congregation. Okay. I was, like, distracted for a second. My dog right now is sick. She got sick again. Just trying to keep an eye on her. Oh, man, who, who wouldn't slip and slide down these fucking stairs? Man, you better not let OSHA find this place. And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough if the prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient, but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved. It would have been enough if the prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the Vox Populi. It would have been enough. I'm guessing it would have been enough. That's that's the consensus I'm getting here. Hey, fellas. This path of forgiveness is the only way to the city. 